So the green team at Manchester Essex Regional School District, this is actually our mission statement. So um, we increase environmental stewardship, teach civic responsibility, and nurture a passion for sustainable living practices. And so we are a group of about 150 students and staff members from all four schools, uh, Manchester, Element, uh, Manchester Memorial, Essex Elementary, and the Middle School High School. And we work together to deploy sustainable initiatives throughout um, the towns of Manchester and Essex. So it's not just a school-based program, it's also a very community-based program. Um, in the high, middle school and high school, we have lots of students that are working with community partners. And uh, we have done some significant work in our towns to advance uh, environmental sustainability. So for instance, um, we were the third town in Massachusetts to ban plastic bags. We were also uh, just instituted um, curbside composting. We just became a green community. And we have done a numerous things inside the school, um, con including probably our biggest accolade is becoming um, a Green Ribbon Award winner. And that is a federal award. We are now one of four towns, oh, excuse me, one of four schools in the state that um, have this distinction of this award. And um, we have been, Manchester Essex Regional Middle High School has been voted the uh, unofficial greenest school in the state of Massachusetts, which is a pretty awesome accolade. So we started in April 2009 at a, at a staff meeting. I remember raising my hand and asking the staff, uh, who wants to start a recycling club? And it kind of started with about eight staff members and about, about the same amount of students kind of getting on board and wanting to do more single stream recycling. Because at that time we had, I think like we had a dumpster that we recycled uh, cardboard and paper and it got picked up once every two weeks. And then our, our dumpster got picked up three times a week. And so that quickly turned into complete waste management, composting, uh, energy reduction, and a myriad of everything, including gardens and. The team has impacted our community uh, considerably. We have four green teams in all four of our schools, in the elementary schools, in Manchester and Essex, the middle school and the high school. We have about 150 students and staff members working on the green team. And they are not just working in the schools to make their school green or to make their staff members and students green. They really do uh, an exceptional job at doing outreach. So that's one of our strengths is we do a lot of outreach and a lot of community engagement. And uh, we have gotten um, several initiatives off the ground, making many, many very important community partners. So many to list, I, I couldn't uh, do them justice. But without our, you know, our, our local nonprofits and our local for-profit organizations, uh, in Manchester and Gloucester and Salem, Essex, Ipswich, we would not be who we are. So that's a huge accolade for our community partners. Um, I think we have made a considerable difference in what we do and we go to a lot of conferences, um, literally nationally. We have been to, uh, we probably go to about 10 conferences, 12 conferences a year where we present, where our students present. I actually don't do the presenting. Our students are doing the ones that are, are the ones that are getting up and and being uh, the cheerleaders for what we do. And uh, our program here, which we call Green Scholars and Green Interns, we have trained now over 50 teachers on how to institute the program. And Green Scholars is now happening in 12 schools to date. A version of Green Scholars, so which is really amazing. And kind of the basis of Green Scholars is giving students experiential education uh, in sustainability and making a difference in their school. So it's, it's kind of make giving them, making them environmental stewards and giving them the opportunity to, to go out and make a difference.